Well, I told you that we were going to make some changes for 2019. And, uh, yep. It's freaking bleeding all over the place. I did it again. Look, I cracked my thumbnail in half. Good morning, everybody. Hope that you guys are having a great day and a fresh start, awesome start to 2019. Speaking of 2019, we do have my car, Carnage, in the background. And for today's video, we're gonna do something a little different, something that I've never done to any Mustang that I've ever owned before, something that I've always just been kind of on the fence about. I think it's gonna dramatically change the way that this car looks. I'm excited, let's get to it. All right, so here we go, 2019 big things we need to change up the car a little bit and we are going to start with this we are going to delete the front grille on this 2019 mustang gt i've always been a little bit afraid to do this because i've never liked grill deletes on any mustangs in the past but the 2019 is a little different so some of the new grill deletes that the aftermarket companies have released look a little bit better, I think, than some of the past gen cars. Honestly, as we look at this thing, you know, a lot of people don't like the gloss, you know, upper grille because it doesn't match the lower. You know, you have the matte black and you have the gloss up there. But, you know, I honestly have not hated this front end enough to spend the money on replacing any of this. But my good friend, Lucas, Franklin Yeti on Instagram, we actually installed this upper and lower Cervini's grill on his car and he went back to his stock stuff and he sold me this for an unbelievable price. We're gonna do him the honors, give him the shout out and install this on my Mustang. So again, I honestly don't hate the way this looks. We did the gloss black pony there and I think it looks fine, but it's a new year and we're gonna move forward. We're gonna change things. We need to make this car look a little bit different because it is obviously for YouTube. And we want this car to stand out a little bit different from the crowd. All right, we're gonna breeze through this a little bit, but I do have an awesome video that we've already done when we installed it on Lucas's car. And I'm gonna link it above so you guys can go check that out. But here we go. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight, I don't have a job to guys are curious what uh front end lip this is this is the mmd splitter i got it from american muscle but uh it looks really good just a little bit different than what everybody else has everybody's doing the rtr stuff and of course we're doing things a little bit different and i think this looks really good jlt is a sponsor big shout out to them uh this thing looks really really good guys on the wall so big shout out to them and of course we have a bunch of bmr suspension on this car that has really really transformed the way that this thing rides especially with the new power with the rob tune intake suspension we're just getting started 2019 is going to be hot and heavy we're going to start racing this car we're going to start doing a lot of that we're going to go to shows we're going to travel across the country we're going to do a bunch of events it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a big year we're going to collaborate with other youtubers and it's going to be a tremendous amount of fun. So definitely encourage you guys to sub to the channel if you haven't already. And for everybody that is new, again, thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, I can't honestly thank you enough to join me on this adventure with my Mustang. It's been a real pleasure. 2019 is going to be great. So once it is separated, this is how this looks. Basically, it's just holding that right up in there like this. And it looks like this from underneath. You don't have to really take them out from the bumper. This is a change they did for 18 and 19 versus the 15 to 17 cars. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, it just takes small hands to really get up there, but uh, take your time, you'll get it right. It's a lot easier with two people. Here we go. Now I will say that once you're at this point here and you have everything pretty much disconnected, if you plan on painting, wow, 
now a car's gonna ruin everything. <laughs> if you plan on painting uh, this like a satin black or a flat black, your radiator, now would be the definite time to do that. And uh, Servini's also comes with some decals here. So if you have a brighter colored car, you're gonna have to touch up all this area here. Of course, we're gonna show you how to do that, but um, I am going to be painting this. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this radiator up because it looks filthy. Uh, got almost 8,000 miles on the road untouched. So we're gonna clean it off. And what I'm gonna actually be using is, is this. So they do make a specific radiator paints, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just a flat black engine enamel up to, protects up to 550 degrees. And I'm not going to saturate this because we don't want to overfill these coils and block any like uh, and block any efficiency. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to just dust it. I'm obviously going to prep all this and seal it all off, and uh, that way we don't paint anything that we don't want to. But I'm just going to just lightly dust this until I'm satisfied. This is going to be such a big change. What will happen is when you put the grill delete in like this, you're going to see the radiator behind it. And I want to see more black. So that's what we're going to attempt and try to fix. Put this over here. Okay, here's the start of what I'm doing. So we got the radiator pretty clean. And then all this, it looks still filthy, but it's just these little fins are pushed in by rocks and stuff. But anyway, this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm just starting to prep the area. Make sure that you get into all the little holes. Of course, we're gonna do a little bit more. Make sure that we have it completely sealed off. Go all up in there too. And then on top, you wanna make sure that you box, that you close everything off here. So that way we don't get any paint anywhere that we don't want to. But um, again, we're just going to dust, lightly dust, and you know, just go little streaks at a time uh, until I'm satisfied. We don't want to oversaturate this because we still want it to cool and we don't want to block any of the efficiency. But you know, if, if I mess it up, I mean, it's a radiator. I'll just go get another one or one of those bigger aftermarket ones, I guess. But uh, no, it should be fine, honestly. A lot of people do this. Yeah, so far, it's a little bit better. It's weird, it looks terrible on camera, but in person, it's completely black. It's just the way that the light is shining on it, honestly. But the idea is that once this thing is mounted, you'll just see black. So even if it's not perfect, you know, it's, it's still gonna be fine. Uh, the mesh on this looks silver on camera, but it's black in person, and I think it's gonna be perfect. All right, now while that's drying, we can actually go ahead and get started on this over here. But first thing we need to do is take this crash bar off and you have some tabs there and there. And basically they just unclip and, and you can just pull them off. But you can get like a, a flat head or something like that. And then this should all separate. And then it's gonna reveal all these other clips, which is a complete pain in the butt, honestly, to get this upper and lower grill out. You can see what they look like here. And this is where probably going to need some help. You need two people, somebody to push on the other side as you undo this. Now, from personal experience, especially when you get to the lower, getting these corners out here is a total nightmare. But once you actually get these corners done there and then there, all of the rest of this comes out pretty easy. And the top drill is obviously a little bit easier. But we're going to go ahead and jump to it and get all this crap off of here. Well, we're making some progress. It's just me by myself. Uh, it's definitely tough, but you can get by with this. Look, there's a little bit of blood on it. Um, yeah, that's, that's gory, but no, uh, the plastic slipped in it. It kind of clipped into my finger, but yeah, just be careful. Um, doesn't really hurt, but <laughs> anyway, if blood makes you nauseous, I'm sorry. I'm going to go clean myself up now. It's freaking bleeding all over the place. <laughs> So you can do this just by yourself. It's just really hard. <laughs> so from a distance, you can see how this looks. So it's just black. Looks good. All right, so everything is looking good. Now what we're gonna do is, this kit does come with these decals, which are gonna fit right across here, and it's gonna hide a lot of this red. If you have a dark colored car, 
uh, black or gray or something like that. You may just want to skip this step. Get you an alcohol pad or something like that and make sure that this surface area here is very clean and then back here as well. Anywhere that you might see red, these decals are going to hide all of that once we, once we apply it. Oh, this is like the worst vinyl I've ever seen. It doesn't want to stick. I'm going to have to put a heat gun on it and maybe that'll help, but it's not very sticky. Hopefully you won't be able to see any of this once we actually put it on and then this will look a lot better, but I'm going to have to toy with this a little bit because uh, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> that looks like trash. Definitely recommend two people, but uh, you've got these little uh, zip ties. They clip into the back there. Uh, so you want to get rid of these. That way you don't see any gray, you just see black. This looks like a hot mess, but once I put the crash bar on, it's honestly going to hide a lot of this. So this area back here is the most important piece and that's flat, but uh, this is not very good vinyl. So just my little gripe about that. But anyway, radiator looks pretty good. It's going to look really sick once we actually get the thing on the car. So I've actually had this kit for a while and I was waiting on these from Cervini's, these little elbow brackets. And then you'll have that push pin on the side. You need those if you have a performance pack car. If you don't, it'll be a much different, larger style triangle like bracket thing. But uh, because I bought this second hand, trying to identify that little piece was a pain in the butt dealing with the customer service, honestly. It uh, took a little while. So I actually had this grill in my garage for about four weeks. So this thing is starting to look sharp. And this is how this looks from the back. If you're doing this by yourself, it's a pain in the butt. Just going to go ahead and tell you. So this is how all this looks once it starts to come together. Basically, these things are going to push and squeeze the, uh, the plastic tabs that are actually connected to the bumper in between that. And you have a bunch of them. And then down here as well. So I thought I was going to get lucky and not have to take off this belly pan piece. I am mistaken. So what I'm going to have to do is take off this belly pan because to get to underneath there, I'm not going to be able to get a, a screwdriver. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Now with the crash bar, this was previously clipped in to the bumper there. You won't be able to do that again since we took all that stuff off. But what's going to happen is you'll put two-sided tape like, like right there and then on the sides. And it's just going to stick on to that. And this is like an eight mile an hour crash bar or something like that. So it doesn't really have to, you know, snug on anywhere. So, so long as it's on there with like two-sided tape and then it's pinched between that and the bumper, it'd be fine. All right. Just making sure everything looks good. And it's certainly starting to. Still got to do the bottom down here. I'll just take all that stuff off and I'll tack it from underneath. It should be fine. But this is how it's starting to come together. But you see how it's all black and you don't see any radiator through that. That is the look that we are going for. It looks really good, but it still looks a little bit plain. And I have one more thing to top this off with. So we have one of these guys. It's a grill badge from MF Auto Designs. And this is the black and chrome. Now I'm not a big chrome fan, but in person, it's just a little bit, you know, we still have some chrome and lug nuts. And some guys actually take like a frost clear clear coat kind of stuff uh, you can buy at the store and then go over this and it gives it more of like a brushed finish but i might do that in the future but for now we're going to mount this thing somewhere on here and it's going to give it a little bit of gt350 inspired look i think and it's going to look really good so we'll give it a shot but we got to figure out where to mount this thing oh. i don't know if it's in the instructions or not Guys, so I don't look, but I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna give you a little hint when you're installing this stuff. Um, on the bottom, of these you're gonna use the black. Um, here we go, the black ones on the bottom. So, if you look, let's find one right there. See how right there where the light is is kind of flat. Well, on the bottom of this thing, when you're installing, you end up with a gap. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking a big pair of pliers right there and forcing against the ground and making it more of like a, a U shape and it's pinching the bottom better than they originally come. So those are, uh, let me find one. 
so they're flat. Well, we don't want it to be flat. So I'm gonna do is just make it kind of like a U-shape like that. And it's pinching this to the bottom a lot easier. So I'm pretty sure that's not in the manual or the instructions, but you know, word of the wise, that's how you're gonna make this thing fit better on the bottom. Everywhere else is good. And that's where we mounted this guy there. I'm actually losing daylight, but we're almost done. This is how this is coming together. I think it looks really good. And uh, this badge right here, it's about 40 bucks and it looks really good. It doesn't really fit too well. So when you're installing this guy here, uh, it can be crooked. So I, you just gotta play with it and then squeeze them into, you know, straight up and down into these things. And then I locked tight at the back of the bolt. So hopefully it doesn't go anywhere, but I think it looks pretty factory. It looks really good. Uh, definitely well-made. But here she is coming together. God bless, I did it again. Look, I cracked my thumbnail in half. Ah, oh. that sucks. Uh, I was trying to screw down these things and my thumb got in between the shit. Yeah, you're gonna do stuff, be careful. Um, but yeah, we're losing light. So I'm trying to hurry. So it's good to get you guys a good video, but unfortunately we're trying to rush things and that's when injuries happen. So tell you what, we'll take our time. We'll finish this up tomorrow when we have better sunlight and uh man my thumb so we had the cut there and then then i just cracked my thumbnail in half so <laughs> it happens but um we yeah, all pick this up tomorrow so you guys can get uh, a good look at this in the sunlight and i'm gonna go get a band-aid